Hey guys, it's me, Swiss. I know this is probably the first time you've ever seen me, or a lot of you have. Um, this is me in the flesh. I want to begin by saying thank you, Blissy, for inviting me to play this wonderful season. It's crazy how long it's been. It was, it was a huge cast. A tad exhausting, but man, we're at the end. Uh, I want to say thank you to production for putting up with my my arguments when I thought things were weird and challenges and I would let that out. You know, it was out of place of love. And I know you didn't show no favoritism and I thank you for that. Um, man, this is a journey. Uh, it was pretty fun. I, every day getting on and chatting with y'all, it was a great experience. Y'all are some of the most lovely people I've ever met. And you knew how to turn what I thought was like my dull life. You added some spice in there. And I appreciate that a lot. I do. I'm on my screen. You can't see it. I'm looking at my confessional. I'm not going to read directly from it. I think that's weird. I'm just going to use it as kind of like a guiding point to keep my mind on track because I can get lost easily and just ramble about the most useless things for hours. So I'm going to try to keep this concise and interesting. I think, you know, uh, so how did my game begin? Um, well, I guess I want to say I think I had a really good game. I'm very proud of my game and I like, and I like how I, I went with it. Uh, I feel like I was almost this under, uh, it's weird because I'm not really under the radar, but a lot of people I think did not realize just how much I had my hands in this whole season. I was doing a lot constantly, hopping on people, or I was in the middle of uh, my tribes with alliances or merge when I really only had to hint at a boot, the boot I wanted to go, and we would get that going. But uh, I want to begin with the first twist of the game. As you know, marooning, uh, everybody was split up as one of the titans. Uh, in every Robin, you know, they were going to make their list of who they wanted on their tribe. Uh, immediately out the gate, I didn't see much value in trying to manipulate a Robin to pick me over someone else. I was more interested in the social side. I was like, oh, we're already social gaming. It's already time to get to know people. And we're over here, we have to DM 24 different people, try to have 24 simultaneous conversations. That was a tad exhausting. I was overwhelmed, to be frank. Um, but I started off... Immediately, I talked to Knight. Knight, he's an old buddy of mine. And we we reconnected like we do in orgs. And immediately, I got on board talking to Hayden. I was like, Hayden, your name's Hayden. My name's Hayden, you know. We got that connection going. Um, Ashley slash Gabriel, me and them, we've always wanted to be in a game together. But we'd never really get to meet up. This is the first time I actually got to talk to them in an org. But we, sadly, of course, we know we I didn't get to meet up with them in the game. Uh, but we hit it off really well. We, our personalities bounce off each other well. Uh, someone else I want to say, CB. CB, I know from the org I host. CB is really fun. I'm also sad I didn't get to meet up with them in the game. Uh, but we hit it off. And then someone I want to note especially here, Thylio. Me and them, we had a pretty long conversation over that day and a half, you know. Or I guess it's just a full day. We were talking, 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 and they were like, okay, let's start a plan. Let's uh, try to manipulate to see if we can get on a tribe together, you know. And I let them do that. I, I didn't mind either way if we were or if we weren't. But it was good already that we were establishing this game connection really early on. I was happy for that. Uh, so we know the tribe, oh, 
I do want to mention, I also talked to Callum a bit about anime. <laughs> I sent him a, 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 some funny, weird uh, gifts just to humor me. <laughs> but yeah, after that, you know, we get put on our tribes. I got on a tribe with Koosh, Zaya, Captain, and uh, Kenna, of course. That was the five. Uh, me, Koosh, Zaya, Captain, and Kenna. And we... Immediately right off the gate, I hit it off with Kenna really well. Me and Kenna, me and Zaya, we were talking a bunch. Uh, I talked to Captain a bit, but we didn't really hit it off on my first tribe, I don't think. I think that comes later on. And, of course, Daddy. Of course, Daddy Koosh. We, we VC'd in the tribe VC a bit. I don't, I don't know if he didn't understand how Discord DMs work. But he was having issues, and I think a lot of you saw that with DMing people. Uh, we lose the first challenge. And, and so, and from there, me and Kenna, we were like, okay, bestie, we're going to run this tribe. And that's what we did. Me and Kenna ran our first tribe. We made an alliance with Koosh, and we were like, hey, Captain, you know, did the worst of the challenge. I think we're going to vote them off. I was like, okay. And we tell Zaya. I even make a second alliance with Zaya so Zaya feels safe. But he, of course, goes into the tribal and blows up his game. He goes completely berserk. So, me and Kenna adapted and the vote became Zaya. And Zaya was voted out of that first tribal. Uh, I liked Zaya. I saw a lot of potential in Zaya. I just didn't understand why they were fighting so hard, that first tribal. Uh, the first tribe continues on, you know. We don't go back to tribal. And eventually we have our tribe swap. Now, I was happy with the connections I made on my first tribe. After the Zayabu, I did try to talk to Captain more. Because, you know, if there's a swap coming, it's good to have friends with you. Um... That tribe happens, let me scroll down here, and immediately I pick back up with Knight. Uh, me and Knight, we're still friends, we're hitting it off, and we're just talking and talking. Because a lot of things, I, I think people easily write off Knight, but he's been someone that I, since I'm awake in the late hours, he's also awake. He's someone I can just talk to, and there's a a big power in that game being on at the same time as other people it's like well um you'll see later how i talk so much with milo it's because you know i'm always i'm like awake super late sorry my phone's falling here it's messing up so talk with night uh that's also where i meet cal cal is a fun person i loved my conversations with cal Ooh, that's when we started getting close. That's also where I met Brant. Brant, very fun, Mad Mogs, my man, right there. Uh, we, uh, I think a big point in my game, especially with Brant, we... Here, let me fix this up a bit. I don't know why this is doing that. Meh, come on. We had that battleship game. And that battleship game was really fun. I've learned that an easy way to connect with somebody is just do a challenge with them like that. Those duo team challenges. Easy way to connect with people. Me and Brent, we really hit it off there. It was fun. <laughs> we, <laughs> So I made that connection there. Uh, I, I made some alliances there. Me, Cal, and Captain was an iconic one. And then we added Brent because I liked Brent. And... Oh, I forgot about Hayden. Hayden was very key in my game at that point. That's where I met Hayden. I, well, I didn't meet him. That's where I started connecting with him in the game. Hayden is a pretty cool dude, if you don't know. I think the whole Andrew Hayden feud, I feel like they're very similar people. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. I think they're both pretty chill dudes. But... We'll worry about at the Anarchy Tribal. So we'll go on there next. Anarchy Tribal. People start talking. They want my go. Ah! Ah! What the hell? 
Oh, well, we'll improvise. They want Maiko gone. I personally like Maiko. Um, but what what am I to do? The whole The whole cast is against it. So I just used my time and I talked to certain people. Uh, I made two, I think, very two important connections at the Anarchy Tribal. That was with Andrew and Milo. I really enjoyed my conversations with them both there. I also got to catch back up with Kenna, which was nice. Uh, I think me getting close with Andrew and Milo really set the tone for my swap. My last swap was was with, you know, Andrew, Milo, Lindsay, Abigail, Thylio, and... <clears throat> wait, 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 Andrew, and then Cal. Uh, immediately, Cal and Andrew were talking to me. And they were like, oh, I want an alliance with you, Andrew and Cal. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. I immediately set up a, a trio with those three. And we, I think we hit it off well. I would say me, Andrew, and Cal were pretty much in control of that swap tribe. But where some more nuance comes in my game, Abigail... Abigail hits me up. This is when me and Abigail become close. She's like, there's a Black Tea Alliance. And I was like, a what? What's Black Tea? And she was like, you you remember that challenge they did? They all went in that challenge chat. Well, apparently, they all came together and made an alliance. And I was like, ooh. Uh, at that point, honestly, I did not care if it was real or fake. I was like, that's very interesting and something we can use. So, um, I get two majority alliances set up. I, of course, I'm in my, my Andrew Cal Swiss trio. And then I, I, oh, I forgot to say, I talk to Milo. Me and Milo really bond. I think he's cute. We talk a lot and I tell him about this black tea thing. And then we use it as an opportunity to get in the middle of the tribe. I was like, here we go. Here's our in. So we had two majority alliances on that last swap tribe, which was, I, I, I won't get it. I don't want to get it wrong. So I'm going to say we have Abby Milo Swiss Thylio, right? And then we had, uh, not that one. And then we had, uh, Andrew, Cal, Swiss, Milo, and Lindsay, right? <clears throat> you know, just in case we went to a tribal, that's what we would do. Me and Milo really came together on that tribal after Anarchy, the one where you're going to send people in from both tribes to fight it, the, to fight it out in their own tribal. And we dictated how the votes would go. We got the... Abigail Alliance to to, uh, to vote in Andrew. And then we got the Andrew Cal Lindsay Alliance to vote in Abigail. That was the plan. And then I was going to have a self vote on me because I was telling everyone I wanted to go. And I was like, if I go, that's okay. I had a backup plan if I went. I wanted to go in and I wanted to protect Captain if Captain went in. That was my main concern, Captain and Kenna. I wanted to make sure they would get it out alive. But we know what happened. Andrew, Abigail, and Thylio, all three go in. And Hayden is the one that's popped out. And I was talking with Milo before this. I was like, Milo, I have an idea. I call it a civil war. So when it comes to merge, I want to keep Hayden and Andrew around because I want them to fight each other. And I want to use that as a guise to kind of snake by through the game. Of course, Hayden got out that tribal. So I had to change my thoughts. I was like, okay, there's no more Hayden. But Andrew and Cal kind of, get, kind of started to get suspicious of each other. Because they were like, Andrew was like, why am I going in? And then Andrew didn't vote who he said he would vote. So I was like, okay, I'll just replace Hayden with Cal. Uh, before we merged, I wanted to make sure our tribe was strong. We had a lot of good tribe chats, just in our tribe chat, 
we bonded really well. And I was really happy about that because I wanted to pretty much pagong. I was like, if we can pagong, that would be amazing, you know, for me and my and Milo, basically. And everyone was on board come merge. Now, uh, as you know, immediately Thylio striked out. And I was trying to think of a way. I talked to everyone on this merch side except Callum. I was like, me and Callum haven't connected. It's hard for us to have conversation. And honestly, he seems a bit on the bomb side of things. I called him a ticking time bomb of sorts. I was like, he's just waiting to explode on somebody. And he's going to take them down with him. Um, of course, when Thylio striked out, we saw Callum's true colors come out. Immediately, Callum starts going on and on about how this is horrible and stupid and Thylio's a stupid person and they're, you know, yada, yada, yada. I didn't really care what they were saying. Uh, I thought it was a tad mean, but yeah, it's, it's a game. I'm not going to berate them for that. But I go into my OG tribe alliance. And I'm like, guys, you see what Callum's doing? I think this is our opportunity. And everyone immediately got on board with it. They were like, oh yeah, Callum's a perfect vote here. Perfect vote. And we were going and going. And of course, you know what happens. Callum got booted. After that, uh, we have the next tribal. Uh, which... We had our Callum boot, and then a very interesting was Kai. There was this question, me, Milo, were talking to each other. We're like, how are we going to get out Kai? Because Kai, Kai, if you don't know, Kai is a pretty good social player. Kai, it's fun to have conversations with. I love talking to Kai. Uh, Kai is a very dynamic person, very dynamic personality. And it seemed like they were just not being seen that much, especially after touchy subjects. And I was like... Hmm. We have a UTR threat, and we think they're connected to Andrew. That was a thing, too, because of the Black T Alliance. I have to remember. Black T Alliance. Callum was a main part of that. Andrew was a main part of that. Cal was a main part of that. Kai, and so on and so on. Well, Andrew texts us, and he's like, I kind of want to get out Kai, because Kai knew about his idol. I jumped on board on that opportunity. I was like, okay, I, I don't mind that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's vote out Kai. And I got it. I got the ball rolling. And everyone agreed, hey, we're going to vote out Kai. And we voted out Kai. Now, at this point, it was a full-blown Pagong. But I wanted to keep two people who I got close with that was on the other tribe in the game. A, a little longer. Because I liked them. And I knew the Andrew Cal stuff was about to come to a head. Where they were going to explode on each other in a way. That was the plan. I called it Plan Civil War. Now, Andrew started talking with me about before the Bud Tribal about when to play his idol. And I was like, Andrew. I kept urging him. I was like, just play it now. You know, I tried to get him to flush it. Um... But then I said, actually, save it. Save it for a tribal, and we'll go after Cal soon. And he was on board with that, because he knew that Cal would beat both of us in the FTC. And I was like, we're going to have to get Cal. Well, as you know, this is the Bud tribal. I did something strange here. Notice that there were three votes Abigail. <laughs> I knew the vote was going to be Bud. I pushed for Bud to go. But I wanted Cal to not have a chance to get, to not get close with Lindsay. I wanted to kind of create some distrust there. So I voted Abigail. And immediately, I didn't even have to imply that Lindsay did it. Cal comes in my DM and is like, oh, I guess Lindsay lied. And so I succeeded in Cal not really trusting Lindsay right there. And I also had this perception. I was telling people, Lindsay is close to Abigail. We need to watch out for that. And by extension, since Cal 
was a little distrustful of Lindsay, she was also a little distrustful of Abby. Going into the Andrew tribal, before, okay, there's something I have to say. Me and Abigail, we, we got pretty close. We got pretty close in the last tribe, and our main connection was, oh, we're gonna get Andrew out, you know? She told me that she found a hidden idol and gave it to Gabriel. And Gabriel gave it to Andrew. So what Andrew had thought this whole game was a real idol was a fake. That changed a lot for me. I was like, oh, okay. So we can't idol out Cal. But we're going to get Andrew out here for sure. As you know, the Andrew tribal, that is the tribal Cal left. She used the safety without power. Um, I was talking with Knight, and I was talk I was telling Knight that, well, if the idol's real, then Cal will just go. Of course, I knew the idol was fake. I knew she wasn't going home. But I guess he told Cal or something because Cal left, and that didn't change anything for me, because I knew it was fake, so I wasn't too scared going into that tribal, and Andrew was to vote. And from that, we kind of were just picking up. Uh, me and Milo were talking, and we agreed that Kenna, she is a UTR threat. She, everyone likes Kenna. I like Kenna. Milo likes Kenna. Everyone likes Kenna. And so... We said, okay, we're going to get Kenna out. And we voted Kenna out. Uh, then me and Milo's uh, partnership came to a head in the Cal tribal. We had the split vote plan, and then we voted out Cal. Uh, of course, I, I was the one that voted Knight. Uh, there was really not much reasoning behind it. I just thought if Knight's goading for Cal, maybe me voting for Knight would urge him to not vote me in the future and trust me a little more and then you know the rest is history i went on my immunity run um the reason i did that was because uh, i had the i wanted immunity both the tribals we were voting out cal and abby because i knew wait was that the tribal Oh, okay, no. Uh, the Cal Tribal, I did not win immunity. I used my idol. I remember now. I think that's when Kenna had immunity. Well, anyways. Cal didn't have immunity. We got Cal out. And I knew Abigail was the biggest uh, physical threat. Abigail and Kenna. Not Kenna. It was Abigail who had immunity. But Abigail and Kenna were the biggest... Abigail, Kenna, and, Ka Kenna and Cal were the biggest challenge threats. And I knew I was going to have to beat them in a challenge to get them out so they didn't have immunity. So I won immunity. The Abby tribal voted her, got her voted out because, as I thought, she was the biggest challenge threat in my eyes. And with Abigail out of the way, I knew I could probably win final immunity and get to the final tribal council. And, of course, that's what I did. Uh, I do want to talk about the final tribal. I was a little scared that the jury was going to think my game was too interconnected with Milo and that I was goading for Milo. Um, of course, that's not the case, obviously. I made my own relationships that Milo didn't have. I fully believe I was closer to Abigail and Andrew, Kenna, uh, and Captain, even though that doesn't affect much here, but Captain's here and Brant before Milo ever was. Um... I used my connection with Andrew and Cal as a power position in that tribe, which I had over Milo. And uh, I knew that Milo's half of the R partnership, he was going to be the one that was with Lindsay, and I didn't mind that. And I think he got a little close with Cal in the end. Maybe Kai a little bit. But I decided uh, Milo's the next closest threat to me to win the game. So I was like, I'll vote Milo here. Those were my thoughts. Of course, it tied because Milo and Lindsay had their connection. So good on them. That's a good That's a good play for them. I did want to show that I am separate from Milo. And even though we agreed all through Merge that 
I know I was playing a separate game than them. Um, and then what else? Those were the votes. I do want to talk about the importance of a strategic physical game. I don't think people... I think people don't really think about this much. But being able to win immunity to kind of make sure someone else doesn't have it, I think that's a very good strategy in this game. That's something I implored a few times. As you said, I did it to Abby. I did it to Kenna. And what else? I had my Civil War plan. My Civil War plan, which, funnily enough, Andrew kind of drafted it up with me. But Andrew didn't know I was turning him against Cal, not... I think it was Abby against Cal. And... Well, I'm trying to think. I don't know. I think I played almost a perfect game, really. I didn't get any votes from anybody other than a punishment vote from Exile. Um, I didn't go out of my way, really, to make people mad. And I know getting voted out is not a fun thing, especially getting blindsided. I will own up to everything I did. I'm not going to lie to you. I'll tell you how it is. And at the end of the day, for me, you know, this is an individual game. This is about how far can you get. And I think I did that. I think I had a big part in every tribal I was a part of. I had a big part in strategy talk with Andrew, with Cal, with Milo, with Abigail. Um... Kenna. I got our tribe to Pagong, basically. And yeah, I think I played a pretty good game. Uh, thank you for listening to me. And I can't wait to answer your questions. <laughs> bye bye.